So Dr. Ashton, if I manage to drag my housemate down to the gym, mm. what sort of things should he be doing in, say, an hour's training session? Well, he should be as active as possible because mm. I see a lot of people go to the gym and who spend 50% of the time actually sitting around talking about it or sitting I'm on the, the, I'm on the gym. Exactly, or sitting <laughs> in the jacuzzi. So I would say, let's suppose he's got an hour, yeah. uh, typically an hour. About half of that, about 30 minutes, I would say, should spend doing some sort of cardiovascular exercise. Mm -hmm. And that could be step walking, it could be walking on a treadmill. Uh, a stationary exercise bike is a really good activity, particularly if you're carrying a lot of weight, yeah. because it'll take the strain off the joints until you've lost a little bit of weight, and it's a great way of burning calories. Mm -hmm. So half of it, doing some sort of cardiovascular exercise like that. The other half, I think, uh, you could profitably spend doing some resistance training, some very light weight training. And there are two ways you can do that. You can either use the apparatus using the bench press uh, and, the, and, and things to, ex to do the leg extensions, for example. The important thing, though, is to use the major muscle groups, the muscles on the front of the legs, the upper back muscles and the chest muscles. And you can either do that using the set equipment or you could use free dumbbells or you could use uh, kettlebells, what we call kettlebells that some gyms have. You can get some good advice from the instructors who are usually there, but the important thing to remember is not to use heavy weight, but to use light weights for high repetitions. Why is that important? Because it helps to preserve your lean mass, your muscle mass, as you lose weight. And that's important because muscle burns energy, burns calories, much more effectively than fat or any of the other tissues of the body.